Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. This evening, we are in mourning as our colleague and friend Michael Sharp has died. He'd been hospitalized at the University Hospital of the West Indies since March 14, but took his last breath early this morning. In Primetime News this evening, we take a look back at his life. Earl Moxham begins our coverage. Michael Sharp's early days in journalism included brief stints at the Gleaner, the Jamaica Information Service, and the Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, JBC. Then he joined the staff of Radio Jamaica in March 1984. This came shortly after he had covered the Grenada invasion for the JBC. He was recruited for RJR by the company's managing director, Lester Spaulding. He had reason to be at JBC, and he says, you know, Mr. Sharp would like you to come down to radio. And I thought of it. I went to a good friend um, and I said, you know, what do you think about that? And he said, yeah, man. He said, yeah, come on down. He distinguished himself covering Parliament for the next decade and in that capacity developed the five-minute review of each sitting of the House and Senate in the feature Inside Gordon House. Welcome to Inside Gordon House, focusing on the parliamentarians, their decisions and how these affect our lives. Michael Sharp made it to Port of Spain in 1990 to report on the attempted coup against the government of Prime Minister A.N.R. Robinson. The Prime Minister was released at 1.20 when he was escorted to a Red Cross vehicle by one of his ministers, who still remains in captivity, and by one of his captains. He served as deputy news editor for RJR in the 1990s and also hosted a nighttime talk show, Sharp Talk. That show served as an outreach vehicle for many disadvantaged persons who brought their needs and concerns to him. It led to various fundraising efforts to alleviate some of those needs and an initiative to send some kidney patients to Cuba for treatment. The airwaves belong to the people. And it strengthens them when you use it for them and not for yourself. After the acquisition of JBC TV, renamed TVJ, he served briefly as head of television news before the radio and the television newsrooms were merged. He co-anchored primetime news on TVJ with Doreen Samuels for more than a decade. At the time of his passing, he was news operations manager at Jamaica News Network, part of the RGR Gleaner Group. But he still had a presence on Radio Jamaica, being a relief host on the talk show Hotline and doing the morning traffic report once per week. Throughout his career, Michael Sharp credited the journalist Terry Smith for inspiring him to be the best he could be. Terry Smith taught me that I belonged as a journalist, a member of the Fourth Estate. We belong here and we must kill them with excellence. Those were the words that really harnessed my thoughts and my brains and caused me to deliver. Michael Sharp, dead at age 65.